this video i will be showing you how to set up sticky add to cart on shopify the first thing you want to do once on your shopify admin page you are going to go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to select apps then from there you are going to tap on app and sales channel and you are going to select shopify app store so you are going to tap on shopify app store then from there, I want you to tap on the search bar at the top of the page and you're going to type in Sticky Add to Cart. And the app that we'll be using is the Zurich Sticky Add to Cart app. And you can see that it is highly rated and you can get started for completely free. So you're going to tap on Install. Once you have tapped on Install, you'll be redirected to a new page. On this new page, all you'll need to do now, you're going to tap on Enable right here. After you have tapped on Enable, you'll be redirected to the Editor page. Once on the Editor page, you're going to go over to the left-hand menu option, and you're going to toggle it on, and you're going to tap on Save. Now that we have enabled it, if we were to go over to the left-hand menu option and tap on View Your Online Store, then let's say for example, we were to select this product. Once on the product page, if we are scrolling down, you can see that the add to cart button is right here in the bottom right hand corner. So you can see right there and the customers will be able to select the amount that they want. They can select the quantity and they can select the variant. So it doesn't matter where they are scrolling on the page, they'll get quick access to our add to cart button right there. And you can also edit this by simply going back and by going back onto the app page, you could tap on settings. Once you have tapped on settings from here, you can set it up to your liking. So for example, you can edit the bar color, you can edit the text color, you can also scroll down, you could edit the button color right here. And if you would like the button to shake also, you could tap on shake right there. So let's say we were to do that. You can also scroll down and you can see other features that you can quickly edit. So you can see right there. If you would like it to also show the compare price or not to show it, you can do that. And whether you like to not show the variant or not, you can choose that right there. And then you'll tap on save. Now that we have done this, if we were to go back to this page and quickly refresh it, you'll see the changes. So by scrolling down, you can see that the button is now shaking as you can see right there. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.